Proprioception simulation exercises are done by flexing and extending the digits, tickling or massaging the digits or the paw pads, or using vibrational stimulation from an electric toothbrush or a handheld massager. We do these exercises in patients that are recovering from neurologic injury, either, either to the brain or the spinal cord, who may be experiencing decreased sensory perception or motor function in their affected limbs. These exercises can also be done by stimulating the withdrawal reflex. The withdrawal reflex is stimulated by extending the limb and placing gentle pressure on the paw. The patient will then automatically withdraw the limb. This not only stimulates the sensory receptors on the distal aspects on the limb or at the paw, but it also engages them into flexing the muscles in that limb, so it can be a strengthening exercise as well. Finally, doing the placing paws exercise, which is where the patient is in standing and we flip the paws over onto their knuckles and we encourage the patient to correct their normal placement. This is a test that we do to test for conscious proprioception but it's also a proprioceptive stimulating exercise. Lastly, another benefit from this kind of exercise is it's a strengthening exercise for a group of muscles called the digital extensors, which are responsible for extending the digits. These are various ways that we can stimulate proprioception in patients that are recovering from neurologic injury.